Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and a small amount of blue. Just tap it on the brush. And we'll come over here and drop in a nice little basic sky. We won't spend too much time on the sky today. Just a nice little sky. Let it get lighter toward the horizon. Now with some blue and some brown and black, we can mix up a nice undercolor for a mountain. I think we'll have a big old mountain up here today. Pull the paint out flat, cut across, get a little roll of paint, and we'll come over here and shape a little mountain. We're just worried about the outside edge right now. Just scrape it right in. Now when you have it kind of blocked in, you can just scrape that paint right into the canvas. And really push it in. There's a thin little layer of paint on there. Now when you're done blocking in your mountain, you can take a brush and just pull it out. This removes a little bit of paint and makes it look real misty at the bottom, which is just what we want. Just like that. Just pull it out. Follow the angles of your mountain. Kind of the way you want to highlight it. Now with some white and a little bit of red, not much red, we can get a little roll of paint again. And we can come up here and just begin highlighting our mountain. Just let that paint break as it comes down. No pressure at all. If you push hard, it won't break. Just the weight of the knife, let it kind of float down the mountain. There. So just add all sorts of little bumps and stuff to the mountain. A lot of character in this mountain. Now, with some blue and white on the knife, we can shape our little shadow areas in, in the mountain here. The same way as you did the highlight. Just let a little of that break. Create some nice little shadows. We're not doing anything different than when we did when we highlighted it. Now when you're done with your mountain, you can come along with a two inch brush and just tap. Tap the bottom of that mountain following the angles and you'll create some little mist. Follow the angles of the mountain, very important, and then lift up. Now with some brown on the knife, we can think about like another little mountain that's kind of coming off of this one, maybe a continuation even. So we'll just block that in with some good dark color, like that. Now with a clean one inch brush, we can come in here and just tap, lightly, lightly tap, and lift, lift up following the angles, real lightly. Now we can touch a little harder down here, and we'll even pull this, just like we did our big mountain, just pull and tap. Create a lot of mist. This is a real misty area down in here. There. See? Now with some blue and white and brown on the knife, we'll lay in just the tiniest little bit of snow that hasn't quite melted yet. Just a tiny little bit. Maybe a little over here. Kind of let it work around like that. Now with some brown and white, we can add a touch of like rocks. Just a highlight on the rocks that are over here. I don't think there's any snow on these. Or maybe we'll drop a little. There won't be much. Just like that. Now with a little bit of that shadow color and some white on the one inch brush, we can just come over here and tap. Just tap with that brush. We're kind of just making a nice little light area. We can't really tell what's going on back here too well. But we're going to have some trees and they'll stand out real nice against this light area. Now with the two inch brush and some green and white, we can come over here and drop in a nice little grassy area. Just like that, like a little grassy meadow right at the bottom of the mountain. Maybe have it come over like that. Just tap down with the two inch brush. Now with the two inch brush and some light green, we can come over here and start highlighting. 
just tap and add all these highlights. Now notice what I've done here. Uh, this I made this dark at the foreground and lighter toward the horizon. And that creates some nice depth and distance in your painting. Now with a fan brush and some light green, we can come over here and start shaping some little, tiny little background pine trees. Just push up with the fan brush. No big deal. Push up. Bend the bristles. And maybe do one over here. Now look at how that pops against that light area. That's why we put that in. It really works. There. Do another one over here. Maybe change the color on him just a little. Just add some variety. Now with some brown and white on the knife, but mostly brown, you can paint in just a tiny little tree over here. Maybe another one right, right next to it. Now with some green on the fan brush, we can add some little leaves to this tree. I guess this will be a pine tree. Could just drop a little on that. Now with the fan brush and some brown, just tap it into the brown. Maybe add a little bit of black. And we can come over here and just go like this. Right down our whole painting. Look at that. Tapping quite hard. Get all this nice texture. There. Maybe add another one over here. Just tap down. Tap down. Let it get a little bit bigger at the bottom than it is at the top. Now I'll just add a little bit of white to that color. And we can come over here and just highlight this tree. Just add a little highlight to the right side only. Now with almost pure white, we can add just a sparkling little highlight to the outside edge here. Just on the outside edge. Not going into the tree at all. Now we can come over here and drop in some nice little limbs. These limbs are, they're real bent. They're going all over the place. So really be free with these limbs. Don't just draw little squiggles. Jiggle your brush and get all these nice little twigs. And maybe we'll jump over here, throw just the tiniest little bit of highlight on some of these. There. Just like that. Now with some nice dark green on the fan brush, we can pop a tiny little bit of some leaves up on these limbs. Not much. We don't want to cover up all that nice background we worked so hard on. Just a little. A little tiny bit. There. Just like that. Now with the little green and yellow on the fan brush, we can pop in just a tiny little bit of highlight on some of these limbs. Just like that. There. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale. I'll put the link below. Thanks for watching.